Zibanejad has scored in two straight. In tonight's NHL action, we've had so far two just awful phantom calls that we need to talk about. And this first one, I think, is the most egregious. So with two minutes left in the second period, the Ducks score. However, it's immediately called off for goaltender interference. Now, I was watching this on the Pittsburgh broadcast. Even Mike Rupp was like, there's nothing there. Anyway, Anaheim wisely, I think, challenged the call. But after a very short review, the call on the ice was confirmed. No goal. And I don't like this at all. I don't like the way the NHL is going with these goalie interference calls. The Anaheim player fights for space in the crease. He never touches the goalie. And there's no actual impeding of the goalie's attempt to make a save. You're basically penalizing Anaheim for having better net position here. Again, Rupp, a player who I saw doing this a ton when he played for the Rangers, even as a big Pittsburgh homer, just couldn't believe it. He was like, hey, I'm happy we got the call, but this doesn't seem right. But it would get worse. Greg Cronin, the coach for Anaheim, would absolutely give it to the refs, something the NHL is cracking down on. He would get a two-minute penalty. A lot of places are reporting that he got kicked out here. He actually stayed on the bench until on the five-on-three. Remember, you get a penalty for a failed review. Pittsburgh scored. He gave it to the refs some more. He was gone. I don't know whether he meant to be kicked out earlier, but presumably for Halloween night, he put on a costume and went to hide in the stands. However, this would turn out for Anaheim as with like a minute left, McTavish would escape the box as if he wasn't just let out on the end of a five on three, get the puck, go down the ice and ice it for the Ducks. I've got to say the box rush breakaway has got to be one of the most exciting moments in hockey, but great for Anaheim. However, something very similar happened in the Rangers game. Well, sort of similar. Near the end of the third, a hard fought game that was 2-2, Lindgren gets called for a trip that simply doesn't exist. His stick is in the area, but he doesn't come close to touching the Winnipeg players skate, but this would give Winnipeg a chance to ice the game not only in regulation, but they'd go on the four on three in overtime. The Rangers would do some great penalty killing, and guess what? They would end up winning in overtime as well. Very exciting moment. I don't know about you, but when my team gets a bad call, it's like the quickest way for me to hate the opposing team, even though they had nothing to do with it. Like, I was feeling some real vitriol towards the Jets here. Anyway, a bad night for referees so far, but if you think this is just hockey, it's not. Check out the video we put out today on my NFL channel, Peak Football, all about the issues that league has been having, which honestly are probably even worse.